Malkins here. Uh, Michelle, you're watching the drama, and did you watch any of the press conference in the homeland of Gretchen and Steve Sweden uh, yesterday? Your impression of the president uh, say, talking about the red line? Yeah, well, he looks nervous, and he should look nervous, because after coming off of throwing the U.S. and uh, an entire branch of, of government, our Congress, under the bus on a world stage, um, there really isn't much less left uh, for him in terms of ground to stand on. And, and a lot of people wish he wouldn't come back <laughs> after that performance. Uh, he really is a pathological buck passer. And I think the soundbite from Donald Rumsfeld really says it all. And boy, do we miss adults like Donald Rumsfeld in Washington right about now. It, the unprecedented amount of fecklessness and recklessness that's been shown by this White House uh, is really not going to help him in those frasty negotiations and discussions. So was that a way, know. was that a way, Michelle, to try and put Congress on notice that, that look, the red line doesn't stop with me, the buck doesn't stop with me, the buck stops with you, so you better get in line and, and vote in favor of this attack? Is that how you interpreted it? Well, I don't know what the heck that was, uh, Gretchen, <laughs> because after spending the last week, two weeks, dismissing the idea that Congress should play any role at all, he now turns around and says that it's their credibility on the line. This, this is crazy. And, you know, we, we all know from Government 101 that politicians are supposed to take credit and... Uh, and diff diffuse blame, but the, the, the massive amount of appropriation of credit for other people's successes compared to the congenital redistribution of, of blame for his own failures it really is remarkable. Well, you know, uh, it all started with a mistake. The line about the red line last year, he just ad-libbed that. And he's been trying to dig himself out from it uh, ever since. And then extraordinarily yesterday, essentially, he said, not my red line, not my credibility, not my fault. Yeah, well, it would be funny, the perils of the teleprompter president, if there weren't American lives at risk. That's and right. And that's what makes this such a dark farce. Amen.